Now, sequence timeout uh, 120 uh, seconds is just what it sounds. It's the, the amount of time that you have from when you've started using the, the sequence until you've finished. If, if the, the amount of time has passed, then it's, it's not going to consider it a, a success and it's not going to execute the command. Now, the start command is what do we want to execute when we're starting the unlock sequence. In our case, it's the script we've created before to open the port and it's going to allow the communication. Now, the, the one, uh, one little parameter that I've, uh, I've talked to, to you before is actually the IP. Now, what do I mean? Let's say that, uh, that I'm here, I'm, I'm at work, and I want to use this, this, uh, this sequence. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to say, oh, I see that your IP address, your client or your network, so whatever, your network address is the 212.143.212.143. That's your internet uh, IP address. And, and you've, you've successfully created the sequence. You're all right. So I'm going to give the access with the sport. I'm going to give the access to, to this internal network just to your IP address. Now my internal IP address again is 128.1 and let's make it blue just to emphasize it. And so what it's gonna do is gonna it's gonna say alright uh, I'm only going to allow this IP address on this port to go through this tunnel that I'm opening up temporarily and go into this port with this IP address. This is the only rule in the firewall. It's not going to be like uh, uh, some uh, you know malicious hacker sitting uh, sitting over here on the, on the network somewhere in his home and, uh, and simultaneously as I go in and open up this this tunnel is going to say aha it's it's open so I'm going to go in as well and uh, haha I've, uh, I've just hacked everything. No. He needs to know my IP address over here so he can do it because the, 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 the firewall is going to look at its packet and it's going to say, I can see that you're coming from where? You're coming from uh, 125.4.3.16.8. Uh, and yes, you're coming on on port 143, but you're, you're not the same IP address. I'm, I'm not going to allow this. So it, it actually discards this, uh, this packet completely. So this right here is the parameter that gives the external IP address of the knocker to the, the startup script. Uh, command timeout is, uh, is the difference of time, the differential of time between the, the start command and the, the stop command. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I understand uh, the sequence and I understand that we've, uh, we've isolated this IP address in this port and, and all of that and I understand that the, the tunnel is now open but wh wh why, do you, why do you close it? Why, wh I mean uh, if, if you're gonna close this tunnel in like, um, what did you say it was? 20 seconds? How are you gonna remote desktop into your machine? That's the beauty of it because when you're doing this, this sequence, when you're activating the sequence and, and the tunnel is open, you're going in through the tunnel, you're going into the computer, and now the, the tunnel is going to get closed in 20 seconds, but your connection is already up and running. And because the, the packets are going back and forth, back and forth, it's going to stay open even though the tunnel itself is closed because it's, uh, it's a related rule. This is the, the, the basic rule of the firewall. Anything that's already related and established, accept. Why? Because you don't want anything the, that uh, you've started a communication, you, you, you want to go to, to Google and you've, you've hit on your, your website, on your Internet Explorer, you've hit uh, www.google.whatever. You're starting the communication from your end of the of the of the wire on any random port. By, by the way, it's it's a, it could be a random port from uh, from one one thousand and twenty three, if I'm not mistaken, up to uh, sixty five thousand, uh, whatever. It's uh, it's sixty five thousand. This is the initial port, and you're going out to the internet 
through the firewall, through the through through the the, the cloud, you're going into to Google, and Google is gonna answer to that random port is gonna gonna answer back. So when this communication comes back, you don't want it to, to get blocked in the in the router. Let me just pick another color here. Hopefully this won't be too confusing, but the communication going back here is gonna be from port 80 to that already established port so so this is already established communication from your end to, to Google and from Google to you that's why this rule is, is established that's why that, that rule is, is in there because if this rule isn't there your router can do its job and your internet connection is non-existent because this is the basic rule of the of the router